Welcome to the Skiddaw Landscape, a virtual chunk of the Northern English Lake District for you to explore, on the ground or from the air. Browse through the map overlays, cruise around the whole area, or dip down to visit geological sites for detailed observations on the geology. View the rocks at all scales, from a field sketch down to a slide under the microscope. But before you begin your investigations, you need to dress for the occasion, picking up some vital virtual equipment to take with you. Yes, best to leave the Gucci at home today. Good choice. The sun can be pretty strong in the clear air, and you can also use it as a scale on photographs. That will help boost your energy levels through the day. Very important to keep hydrated in hot weather. These might come in handy, but are they really essential here? Could be useful for spotting wheat ears, but not essential for field work. Good. Now make sure it's on a cord so you can hang it around your neck. Less chance for a twisted ankle with these. Good choice. A knotted hanky just isn't cool anymore. There are two main types of rock in the Skiddaw field area. A pile of sedimentary rocks known as the Skiddaw group and a single igneous rock, the Skiddaw granite, that intruded those sedimentary rocks around 400 million years ago. The Skiddaw group was deposited on the seafloor of the Apatis Ocean nearly half a billion years ago as a thick succession of mudstones, siltstones and This site, Site 1, is a small disused quarry in the Skiddaw Group sedimentary rocks. How might you start investigating this exposure? It's tempting to throw yourself straight at the rocks and start making observations of detailed features. But as the checklist for this site suggests, it's often more productive to stand back and observe the exposure as a whole first. Making a sketch in your notebook of the main features helps focus this exercise. This field sketch should be a fairly simple line drawing. 